check out my jugs. As you can see, individual driver seat sprayer is all tucked up in the shed. Give. <coughs> <coughs> it should uh, check out my jugs. I bet that's not something you'd uh, thought you'd ever hear me say. We attended an agri um, demonstration farm uh, open day the other day at uh, uh, Cheriton which is a uh, kind courtesy of Phil Lockyer. So thank you, Phil, for uh, letting everyone around your farm. I picked up some free jugs whilst I was there. Um, yeah. They're Certis ones. Stick them in my chemical store. And they're gonna have their own shelf, look. We went last year to the same event at Phil's. Um, it's very interesting. All the different trial work they're doing with different varieties and also different um, treatments and uh, nitrogen treatments and things. So yeah. Well done Agri for putting on a very good event. Anyway guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. You may have noticed I am in a buggy and it is not our usual buggy that we have on the farm. I'm actually in a Kyoti or Kyoti, however you want to pronounce the brand. It is currently on demo from uh, Southwest Handling. Craig and Tom and the guys up there are ever so good at putting demos into us. We're fairly local to them and uh, yeah, they've, they've dropped in this Kyoti and also a Kimco quad bike for a few days for us to have a play with. They're probably most well known Southwest Handling for being a Merlot dealer. Um, I'm sure if you're local to us anywhere, you will have heard of them. If you've uh, if you've not, I'll put a link below um, to their website so you can go and see all the different things they supply. Also very glad to announce it is chucking it down with rain. We have been desperate for rain for a very, very long time. And it's currently very wet outside, which is brilliant that I've got this buggy because normally I'd be on a quad bike doing this job. So I'm, uh, I'm glad. Anyway, I've just come over Rowden to check on the boys over here. I'm actually doing Dr. Phil's job this morning because he is busy uh, elsewhere. So I'm checking around his cattle. I'll we'll do the techno fences uh, and all of that. And then we'll see what else is on today. We've got some, uh, some dung to move or whatever. It is also red tractor audit day. So steering clear of the farm office might be a good job. Anyway, I'm gonna go check the cows. We'll come back to this in a minute. I'll show you around the buggy a bit and uh, all of its features. Right, I've just bedded up the cows for Phil whilst he's away doing his other things for a couple of days. Um, they've got plenty of food, I've pushed that in. There's about 14 or 15 left in here now, I think. Oh, boys. They're very friendly. Nice, calm cattle. But yeah, these guys, um, I think they're on three and a half to four kilos of barley per head per day, so they are motoring on. Come along them pushed all their food in so whenever they want to now they can come out and eat. These guys are due to be weighed in 10 days time so be interesting to see how they're doing. Every month now we're getting rid of some of them. Um, and there's some big old, big old coos in there. Whilst it's fresh on my mind, say thank you to everyone who uh, was giving me some advice about the rushes in one of my previous videos. As I was saying, uh, I've never dealt with trying to kill rushes with spray before. Um, I was a bit annoyed that they weren't more dead after spraying them, sort of 10 days, two weeks ago. But um, I was reassured from all the comments everyone left that they do take a good month to start dying off. Um, it's actually one of my favorite things about doing all this YouTube stuff is a lot of the stuff you learn from people in the comments. It uh, comes in very, very useful. I really enjoy it. Engaging with people. Just before we go any further in the buggy, first major good point on my list 12 volt socket for a charging lead for the GoPro. Got the YouTubers in mind. I'm only joking, don't take that seriously, but it is, it is handy to have a charging point. Safety first, safety second. Got a lap belt. Got me bits and pieces that I wanted from over at the farm here. So the driver's, driver's seat's got a lap belt. Passenger seat's got a normal seat belt that goes around your shoulder. Just strap me bag in so that doesn't go anyway. Right, we're in neutral. I'll show you all the controls in a minute on the other camera. This one's not got a microphone, so I apologize for the audio. Foot on the brake, in neutral, turn the key. Let's go. Doors are an option. If you want doors on it, you can get doors. Yep. 
other thing you might know is, is uh, it's got an independent driver's seat. Because it's got a degree of suspension built into it. You can slide it forward and back to uh, put it wherever you want in your driving position. Right, let's take you through the controls very, very basically. So, handbrake here, put my foot on the brake a minute. Handbrake is quite nice there. I like where that's positioned. Easy to use. Obviously, brake and accelerator down there. Four wheel drive and diff lock are on these like pull type jobby things here. Not put a diff lock on when we don't want it. So we're in four wheel drive at the moment on that one. Nice little dash, you've got your, uh, your revs and your speed there. You also get your indication of your hours and your fuel on that one. Horn on the side, you've got your lights, it's got indicators. Um, yeah, all on that one. Hazard and windscreen wiper on there. And then the gear stick, very, very basic. So you've got neutral, you've got high range, so forwards. You've got reverse. Reverse down there. And then you've also got low box up there if you want it. Just leave it in neutral at the moment. So you've got dual USB ports there for charging things. It's very, very good. And also a 12 volt socket as well. Cup holders, nice deep cup holders. Good cup holders, those. And also a little glove box. Get any bits and pieces you want to carry around with you in there. Now the windscreen, like on a lot of other buggies, you can undo the clips and push it forward. And then you've got a nice open view. If it's hot, you can have the breeze coming in. We've got the back windows on. I guess the back is an option. That's a piece of Perspex on there. A nice big bed on the back. It seems quite well built, very strong. Lots of metal, which is what we like especially for magnetic camera mounts. The only thing I would say about this windscreen, so I'm not just gonna say this is the best thing ever made because that is not what we do here, is when you're going along, there's a degree of, see that wobble in there? Now obviously I'm moving it with my hand at a minute, but um, when you're going along, there is a degree of wobble in there. Nice chunky wing mirrors, they are good. Blimmin' great big bed. So there's the model number, it's a K92400, if anyone is wondering. Now this thing is brand new, so the tipping of the bed is quite stiff. It's only done 19 hours, but basically, you just yank on this handle here, he says, there you are, and it tips up, it's hydraulically, or gastro assisted, I should say. And there's also a lock here. So you see this, that's a lock. So if I push down on the bed, can't go down any further than that. You've got to, you've got to put that up in that rail. You need, it's a two-handed job, you can't do it one-handed, but you need to put that up in that rail and push down. like so and it locks back in it's got a nice long clevis drawbar on the back it's also got a clevis on the front so if you get yourself stuck you can uh, winch it out again i don't know this but i'm would assume you can put a winch on it if you wanted to and yeah what do we think as i said any questions either fire them in the comments um i know craig watches the videos from Southwest Handling. I'm sure if you've got any questions, put them down below, he'll get to you. Or um, or you can find his contact information at Southwest Handling. Yeah, does the job. Before I head off, I ought to just show you this seat as well. So as you can see, individual driver's seat, bench seat for the passengers. You've got your uh, adjustment here on this dial. I think that's for the actual pad itself. And then also there's a rail down here, like you'd have in a car, you adjust that and slide it back and forth. And uh, yeah, very handy. There's also a battery isolator. All good stuff. Cows will come to see it anyway. They approve. I'm stood beside Big Boot. Now the brake lights aren't working on this tractor. I noticed the other day when John came back in the yard, didn't have any brakes, brake lights. Um, so I'm gonna do a bit of investigating. I looked online, I found a copy of the manual and I found out where the uh, brake light fuse goes. So we'll have a look and see if we can uh, see if it's as simple as a fuse because neither one of them is working. All right. Now, annoyingly, the fuse looks intact, but I'm looking at it, so. Oh. Well. Help me down. 
That's about as an easy fix as you're ever going to get. What I'm slightly confused about though is the fuse I took out, which is this one, I don't know if you can see, it looks completely fine. I put a new one in and it's working, so pass. In the bin you go. Better put me a little tool away as well. That's what she said. Right, come to move these cows here. We've got one sick cow that's inside at the moment. It's got like a swelling on its head above its eye. And we thought it might have been like an abscess or an infection. So it's been on a course of antibiotics and uh, a steroid as an anti-inflammatory. And it's not seemed to reduce the swelling. So the vets are thinking now it's actually a, uh, a growth or a tumor. But the cow is all right. Um, it just, you know, it looks odd. So we've given that one its last jab this morning and it'll end up going back out with some more cows and in 10 days time when they get weighed, we'll have to make a decision on whether it should uh, go on the wagon. But anyway, these are the green guys coming over. We're gonna move them, Fields. So uh, I was hoping they would have seen the open gateway. Phil's waiting at the other end um, to guide them into their next field. But whether they're actually gonna go out there or they wanna follow me, I don't know. Come on, come on, look, come on. Oh, now they've seen the gate. Right, pasture's new, that way. We've had a nice amount of rain this morning. Actually gonna do some good, I think. Um, this field that they're coming out of will lay up for second cut silage now. Uh, along with that one with the sheep in, I think, when the, whenever the sheep get moved. So we might might tickle a little bit more fur on there, just to get it going. Don't go backwards. Well done. They're looking really well, those cows. Really happy with how they're doing. As is Phil, who looks after those ones every day. Forgot to say about the uh, coyote. He's got power steering as well. You don't realise how much of a difference that makes until you get into something that hasn't got power steering. Let's go find the dock, shall we? Put it in neutral. Well, I counted 27. They're off on their lap of honour. Yeah. They couldn't believe it. Being... I've made them go past here so many times they look over the gate. <laughs> Right, next job we're going to do here is take the sprayer off the tractor because we won't be needing that one again for a while. So there was one bag of fur in that gap. No bite one, I've just moved it there. So what we're going to do is put the sprayer in this gap. It's sort of made for it. With the help of Dr. Phil. Right, luncheon time. The sprayer is all tucked up in the shed. Just going to jump in the manor too. Phil's currently blowing up a trailer tyre on the 130. My coat because it is raining. What we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of bales over to Rowden for the cow over there when they need feeding next. And we're also going to take um, our bucket and brush and have a bit of a tidy up because we've got an Asper audit. I think that is at the end of August. So we're going to start having a bit of a tidy up over there. There's nothing really tidy, it's just making the floors clean or whatever. Um, yeah, red tractor audit is done today. That all went fine. There was just one discrepancy over some paperwork to do with some oats we sold, but we did find it in the end. So not too bad. Hello again guys, been out eating, that's what I want, dung fork. We won't worry about being in here too much because there's cattle in here and we'll disturb them but basically the other two sheds which are currently empty other than we've got four IRs down the other end of the far shed. We've just taken all the dung off the walls anywhere where there's some old feed or anything like that. Just having a tidy up, so I'll scrape all this out. I gone. Gone, well done. I've got the nice one as well. Right. We have had a big old scrape up. See what we can do here with the brush bucket. We swept up all the inside bits here. If I put it down, you can see. All the feed rails. They're also done between the sheds. I think I'll start in between the sheds here. I have a plate and then a 
We'll do a bit of filming in a minute. Let's have a look at what this looks like first. I've done the other side and it came up really nice, so dirty, 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 dirty. We've got a bit of dry concrete here under the shed overhang, so I'll put the camera down here somewhere. You ran out of battery on me. Hopefully you can see the difference. Very clean, dirty. It does work both ways, forward and back. Definitely better backwards. But uh, I don't know how much battery I've got left, so you might have to hang on until the next bit of uh, footage. <coughs> Jim. <coughs> yeah. All right, Phil's just chucking some dung over the wall there. We're just having a bit of a tidy up this backyard. The grass will be growing, it's still raining. I can't believe how much rain we've had. Right, we've had a blooming great go at the yard as well. Look how shiny that is. Hopefully this rain stays around for a while and it'll just wash all the little bits we've missed down into all the gutters. We're headed for home now. Me and Mr. Gus are headed home. We've had enough of this weather. Time to go and get in the dry. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully the rain continues actually overnight. We could do with it just staying wet for a couple of days, get the, get the grass growing a bit. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to uh, head down to the links below to subscribe, like the video, all my other socials are down there as well. You can follow them. And uh, we'll see you on another video very soon. Cheerio.